How you doing, everybody? I'm Morris Brian Sheffield. Welcome back. It's good to have you with me today. Uh, I'm gonna do another piece of dragon art. I'm gonna call this one Red Dragon. And uh, in this video, uh, somebody wanted me to show them how I do the variated backgrounds just to get started. So uh, we're gonna do that. So this did take a little bit longer, but. Maybe not too long. We'll see. Anyway, I won't paint thicker in this area because I'm going to burn it. And uh, the reason I don't like doing this on camera is because I do it, I like to do this part outside because of the overspray. And uh, really makes cleanup kind of messy in the house because you're constantly, you're doing a constant spray. So that's why you have been seeing me uh, start off with the canvas that I have pre-prepped. And, uh, but just for today, just for this particular one, I'm going to show you what it is that I'm doing because you have to do it multiple times, not just once. Uh, to get the effect that you want. And it's still winter time, so uh, paint acts different in the summer than it does in the winter. And uh, this is the plastic the canvas came in. And it, you can see it's well, once you rip it apart, if you rip it apart right, then uh, you see it stays pretty big, pretty good size. And you want to lay that down, and I always lay it down and let let it dry for a little bit while I'm recoating all this. And uh, come back and uh, do it again. Kind of cover it up in different spots. And you see it's just a totally random thing. I'm not really following any particular pattern. But I do want interest up in this area. I want to, I'm going to have my dragon down here like this. And then it's going to be breathing up this way. It's going to be opposite from the last paint. From the last dragon. The last dragon was up here and breathing down this way. So we're going to go in the opposite direction. Anyway, after I do it a second time, I take my plastic and I fold all that to the inside, like that, and I'm going to use it as a blotter. And I'll come back, blacking a lot of this out. Then I'm going to blot it. Instead of a rip. Then I usually let the canvas sit overnight and then come back and do all this again one more time. I'm not trying to rip paint up, I'm just kind of blending, blending color. 
remember this is a red dragon. I wanted some purple in there too, which is why I got all this blue in there. And that's a red dragon. focus to your work. It puts a focus on the middle. It blackens the edges and puts a focus on the middle. And uh, I'm going to let this dry for a while and then uh, we'll come back and do our dragon. Okay, we're back for the next step. i got everything set up. I've got yellow here, red and black. And uh, first in spray paints, we're going to lay this dragon down. Now this this is the inside part. Remember you had started your fire going off in different directions right there so that's where you want the mouth at. So you kind of measure that, kind of eyeball it up and then come in with this red where he would have been like just like that. And uh, you're going to have to burn it. And you're going to have to cover it just barely. Just kind of tap, tap. Then you want to burn it one more time. And this time, blow it out. Don't let it burn. All I wanted to do was just seal it. You gotta wait for a second because it's still a little tacky. And, uh, come and lay out your dragon. You gotta pay for. Remember, pay pay attention to where the head was. You wanna kind of lay this out. You don't want it to necessarily stick, but you wanna kind of tap it a little bit. You don't want it sticking so hard that it's gonna peel the paint up. But you want it to lay flat because you're going to spray another color on top. Uh, I'm thinking some black cover up all this red. Kind of around the edges just like that. Uh, you will leave some of that red right there around the dragon and then come back in with some white. And it'll bring some pinks off in there after the after it settles. There on the edges. And uh, we'll do some pretty wild effects with the uh, with the brush. But uh, you just let that sit there for a second. It's not gonna hurt nothing. You wanna come back with this red again. One more time. And kind of go out like this, like we did on the ice dragon. Remember, we did the different things. 
just like that. And uh, I'm gonna kind of rip this back apart a little bit and uh, come in just where the red's at and do a rip along all this red. And it gives you that nice variated thing that you wanted going on there. to give you a nice little variation in there just like that and then uh I'm gonna use my razor knife and because it comes to a fine point and you really don't want to mess that paint up so you barely get out of the edge like that and lift it up to where you can grab it with your fingers you got to be real careful when you lift this up so that you don't smear the paint. Then you have your red dragon just like that. I'm gonna put, put my stencil away so it don't get messed up because I'm gonna do one more dragon but it's not gonna be a red one. It's gonna be totally different. And uh Anyway, we'll end up, uh, I'm going to use my medium brush, one of my medium brushes. You see, I got really two sizes of mediums. I got a bigger one and a smaller one. And I'm going to use my really small, uh, my smaller medium one. And uh, I want to do a black outline around this drag. I need something to run my brush on, so... Get me some junk mail here. And this paint is a little thicker, remember, so it's not going to absorb into that paper quite as fast. But uh, you just dip your brush and you kind of run your brush around. What that does is it, it pushes paint up into the bristles. So when you get an outside layer, it, uh, it leaves a coating instead of soaking into the bristles. And just kind of come along and you got to be real real easy barely touching the canvas and you kind of go slow and let that uh let the paint kind of feed off real easy that's why you have to go at a certain speed you can't go too fast because this paint is kind of thicker and uh it doesn't like running off the bristles that fast So it takes a little bit of time to use this type of paint along with spray paints, but it really does uh, come out nice because of the highlighting. And the, uh, this paint has a real high color saturation and it won't fade in your highlights. This is why I chose to use it because I don't want my highlights to fade out. I'm not worried about the spray paint. I don't care if it fades out some because it's background stuff. So I decided to go kind of my own direction here and use these two different kinds of paints and uh, bring the highlighting techniques that I was using in acrylics to do this. So there you have it that's going to be my style I guess for this particular type of art or when I get to working in another medium which I, I, I had mentioned in another video that I might do some of that but uh, I'm still thinking about it I might do like a Bob Ross type piece on a piece of canvas just for fun you know, I could wear like an orange wig or something and paint some pissed off trees. I think that would be pretty fun. 
you know. I, I, I bet you Mr. Ross would, would laugh his head off if he was alive and he saw somebody painting pissed off trees, you know. I, I bet he would really get a kick out of that, so I just might do it. So y'all kind of keep an eye out for that. Okay, so now you got to set a place for the dragon's eye. Which would be about right here. And you got to have some nostrils. And you want to kind of outline the jaw. And then behind the head here, a little bit into the ear. And maybe just over this eye, a little brow. So you just keep laying this in here. This is what takes a while and uh, I'll end up time six in this video if anybody wants to watch it that way. I have, I've been trying to pick decent songs and some of the stuff I pick is classical. It just depends on what, uh, I guess what it is I'm trying to accomplish with the piece and what it is it's trying to say so I've got some rock and roll and you know got some classical and all kinds of different music going on with these videos and they don't get watched as much as the ones that I talk in but they do get watched so I guess I'll continue doing that for the people that you know don't want to listen to how it's done they just want to see it done like it's magic or something so you know for those people I'll keep doing the uh, keep doing the other videos so when you watch my videos and my playlist says oh he's got 80 something videos no I really got 40 something you know because each one that I do is, is really two videos so it's like a two-for-one special. I get the people that like to learn, and I get the people that like to play Nintendo. <laughs> so it's, it's really, you know, how you look at life, I guess, and all of that. So I think that's kind of funny. You just keep outlining your dragon. And now we're going to come in with some of these black highlights out here in the out here in the galaxy and like I did the Hillary Clinton nebula which was a parody on politics uh, I'm going to highlight the crap out of it like that and do this dragon in just a little bit different style than I did the other one I'm not going to use a stencil uh, to pop in highlights I'm not going to do that I'm using my brush for that so it'll be a slightly different style dragon than the other one. Won't be exactly the same. Of course they'll all have a similar lightning effect theme. I'm trying to kind of continue that with my work and uh, offer up that general theme. To the belly of the dragon. It looks pretty hungry. Anyway, you bring some lines out here like this. Kind of go along with that shape. And what that does is it'll bring shape and form to your dragon. kind of give it movement like that whenever you follow along like that and uh, make your art really interesting that way well this is really painstaking today everybody I just got off of work and I've been home a couple of hours and started doing this and I might have to get to bed soon they might they might call me in for extra hours 
of course, I always go because, you know, got to pay them rent, got to pay that bills, got to pay them bills, everybody. That's the one thing everybody's got, bills, and they don't go away. One day we're going to find Bill, and we're going to kick his ass and get our money back. You know what I'm saying? Well, well Bill can't hide forever. Y'all with me on that? Let's go. Let's just go wear the tar out of him for taking all our money. How about that? I won't build. Look out, Bill. We're coming for you, buddy. It ain't looking good for Mr. Bill. <laughs> oh. Just keep on, uh, keep on falling along this edge and go along with the theme of what it is that you've been doing. And don't be afraid to put them little abstract little pops in there because it's what makes you unique as a person. So you put that weird stuff off in there and uh, like that. And everybody says, wow, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Well, sure you can your art you can do whatever you want to you don't have to answer to nobody but yourself and God well of course you got to answer to God but I mean you know in your work you're pretty much you're, you're the one in charge and it, it, it's your shit man you know don't let nobody tell you how to do it you do what you think you should be doing. Now I'm going to take a little short break and because uh, my back is hurting from bending over. and uh, I'm going to come back and highlight this some more and uh, we'll get it looking pretty good. So we'll keep going with our highlights. And uh, Remember everybody, I, uh, I clean my brushes in just regular cooking oil. Uh, here I'll show you what I do. This is the glass that I use to uh, clean my brushes out. Oh damn it, I'm out of oil. Anyways, it's just regular. You can use corn oil, safflower, canola, uh, whatever kind of liquid oil that you would like instead of paint thinner. And uh, your brush will stay nice and uh, damp that way with oil. And uh, they don't dry out and get crumbly. Your brushes last longer. And uh, it also helps the paint move better whenever you're using this type of paint along with your spray art. So just remember that uh, you can use cooking oil and it's not it's non-toxic. You can eat, you know, a lot you, you can eat it. You fry your chicken with it, so it's not gonna hurt you at all. It's the paint itself it's toxic it's not the I don't like using thinners in the house anyways because it uh it has a really bad odor to it and it's not good for you to breathe it that's why I try to do most of my underpaintings outside and this is the only one that I'm gonna do uh, inside the house because I just you know I want to take care of myself and uh, make sure I stick around for a while and I can keep painting for y'all and I'm not dying of lung cancer because I breathe in all this toxic crap so if it's alright with y'all I just soon keep painting and uh, do it like that anyways you come along some of these rip lines here where this color meets and you kind of define it like this and it makes it pop out it gives it defining lines and uh, you come back here in a little bit and you're going to come back in with yellow and uh, that's really going to when it's going to just really really pop out big time we're going to have yellow in here as a color which would be the actual fire coming from the dragon's mouth 
but uh, we're gonna throw some stars here in a little bit after we get this black laid out. And I really enjoy doing these paints for y'all and uh, for the people that keep up, I really appreciate y'all watching and you know, it's a lot of fun for me and I get to make beautiful things and there's people out there that like to watch that and there's quite a few artists out there right now that are on YouTube and uh, you can choose to watch anybody, but you're watching this one, and I appreciate it. So, anyway, that background painting was for you there, McCrombie. I know that you said that you like to do artwork, too, and that you were considering working in maybe a similar style, and that's cool. If you see anything that I do, and you want to kind of do something similar then that's fine with me I ain't got a problem with that you know uh, no two pieces of art are exactly the same and of course who knows what it is that you're going to make you know you you never know till you try never till you know till you try you can make something really really beautiful and, and never even know that you was capable of it like all of a sudden wow look what I did I followed this guy's advice and did what he did and it was it turned out look what I did you can give it to your wife or your husband or girlfriend or boyfriend as a gift to hang up in their house they can brag to all their little buddies look what my girlfriend did look what my boyfriend did you know isn't that awesome it's so cool man I've never seen anything like that before. And uh, anyway, you should come up with something like that. And I'm going to dump this brush and just leave it there in the oil. And uh, I'm going to close up this black because I'm not going to use it anymore. It's done. And uh, the next color I'm going to go to is this yellow. And uh, we're going to do a few little yellow highlights on the dragon. We want to go to our finest brush. You see what we got here and uh, it's a round it's a round brush but it's it's our finest tip brush that I'm using for these uh, for these paintings and uh, you want to come in and kind of touch it around certain parts of this tail just like this and kind of make it kind of look like fire going off or where maybe fire was coming from. When you lay it up against this black, it really, really pops out a lot. And you can make it look like fingernails or any kind of way that you really wanted to. But uh, you keep coming out with it like this and little various spots and remember wherever it is that you put it is where it's going to accentuate what it is that you're looking at so something like that and you don't want too much going off in there but this is where it gets crazy. You know how I like my lightning thing. And we're at the dragon's mouth now, so you got to let it flow, people. You got to go with it. Put this yellow off in there. And this is what's going to make your whole painting pop out. And people are going to just, their jaw's going to drop when they see it. I'm dripping paint because I'm not even wiping it off. 
You see that? It dripped right off. I gotta be a little more careful so I don't mess this painting up. I'm on my third glass of Shiraz. It's a pretty good Shiraz. It's really not expensive. Uh, but it's pretty decent. I'm not completely unhappy with it. But you kind of want to follow in the general direction away from your dragon, just like before. And when you're going in a direction, you want to go away from where the direction is going to give it the effect that you want. Remember to spread it out away from the dragon. That's all. That's all you got to do. And it's just this easy, people. Just this easy. To make something beautiful that's going to stand out in your home and everybody's going to be like, Wow, where did you get that? And you're going to be like, Oh, I, I made that. No, you didn't. <laughs> Then you're just going to have to watch them, watch the video that I did, and then you're going to say, yeah, I did that. I followed this guy's instructions, and I did what he did, and guess what? There it is. Bam. Let's get all this yellow highlighting off in here. And, uh, really turns out to be pretty dramatic. But since it's more of a nebula type of deal, because we're going to do stars here in a minute. Remember I told you we're going to do stars. Uh, I've actually decided to do the stars at the very end to bring it all together. So that you can see it happening right before your eyes. Okay, now it's time to do stars. And uh, we finished the basic image. So now you want to throw some stars off in there. Remember, you want to concentrate some right here around the dragon uh, to off-balance this yellow effect that you had. You want to throw some up top, too, but not as many. You don't want as many up top. You want some, but not as many. And you can kind of balance the light out in the picture that way. And there you have it, everybody. Red Dragon.